In the world of acting, there are some performers who leave a lasting impression. One such actor who had a remarkable career is remembered for his memorable roles in movies. Many people have their favorite performances from his long list of films. Do you have a favorite role from his movies? Some say that there's one particular role that really defined his career. Do you agree? Feel free to share your own special memories or stories about this iconic actor. Look out for more interesting facts about him in this video. Renowned for his commanding presence in memorable roles, he graced the silver screen in several unforgettable films. One notable project saw him as a heroic figure navigating ancient landscapes, earning him an Academy Award for his portrayal. In another, he embodied a biblical character in a grand-scale epic directed by a legendary filmmaker. Then there's the science fiction tale where he found himself stranded on a planet ruled by intelligent primates, a journey that captivated audiences with its blend of futuristic imagination and societal commentary. Lastly, he ventured into a dystopian future, exploring themes of overpopulation and environmental decay in a thought-provoking narrative. Starting with his award-winning performance can offer insight into his versatility, while his other roles provide a diverse range of experiences for viewers to enjoy. Altogether, his filmography remains timeless, leaving a lasting impact on audiences worldwide. Exploring the life of a famous actor, we dive into the fascinating details of his career. One interesting chapter reveals how he earned a lot of money for a role, showing his success in movies. While working on a big project, there was drama not only on screen but also behind the scenes. A co-star felt she didn't get enough credit and suit. In his own book, the actor talks about this, thinking about how things have changed in the industry since he started. He sees how the entertainment world is changing and wonders how it might affect his opportunities. It's a peek into his thoughts, showing the ups and downs of Hollywood. Reading his thoughts gives us a better understanding of the challenges in the movie industry and how you need to be flexible to succeed. His biography shows how show business is always changing with surprises at every turn. His story, from making lots of money to dealing with controversies, gives us a clear picture of his career. Interestingly, his book makes us think about how things might be different if he started now. It reminds us that the entertainment world is always changing with new challenges and chances. His story, with its highs and lows, helps us see filmmaking in a new light. To sum up, this exploration of a famous actor's life not only shows us his successes and struggles, but also makes us think about the changing world of entertainment. In a well-known historical film, the actor who portrayed Michelangelo Buonarroti took method acting to another level. To accurately depict Michelangelo's broken nose, the actor inserted a small length of narrow clay piping in his own nose. Interestingly, he had broken his nose years before, but felt it wasn't crooked enough for the role. On the other hand, another actor in the same movie refused to grow a beard, even though the real-life figure he was portraying had one during a brief period of his life. Later in a different movie, the same actor took on a role alongside Arnold Schwarzenegger, marking their only collaboration. Although Schwarzenegger was initially set to star in a remake of a movie the actor had previously been in, the role eventually went to someone else after the project faced delays. Schwarzenegger later starred in a film sharing some plot elements with the novel adapted into the movie the actor was originally involved in. In an animated sitcom, the actor's character experiences an accidental shooting by another character. As he collapses, he calmly responds, That's okay, son. It's your right as an American citizen. Each role in the actor's career brings forth unique anecdotes and connections, showcasing his versatility and influence on different genres and mediums. Throughout Charlton Heston's career, he navigated various aspects of the film industry, showcasing his versatility and dedication to his craft. In a particular film, he portrayed Colonel George Taylor, while other key actors, including Linda Harrison and Natalie Trundy, had personal connections to the production. Harrison, who appeared in the original film and its sequel, worked alongside Heston in another movie later on. Interestingly, when Heston was considered for a role in Jaws, the studio hesitated due to concerns about audience perception. Despite this, casting decisions ultimately aligned well, adding a layer of retrospective amusement to the politics involved. In his younger years, Heston focused on physical fitness, utilizing a simple wall-mounted iron bar for exercises. His dedication to training extended to roles like Judah Ben-Hur and Ben-Hur, where he engaged in rigorous preparation under the guidance of stuntman Yakima Cannon. These examples from his career highlight not only his commitment to excellence, but also his ability to navigate the complexities of the film industry. 
Each phase of his journey reflects his determination to deliver authentic performances, showcasing his versatility and dedication. In a classic film that left a lasting impression, one actor stood out for his portrayal of a character named George Taylor. He shared the screen with another actress who played Nova. Interestingly, these two actors appeared in both the original 1968 movie and its 2001 remake. Over time, this actor felt a desire to move away from his established image as an action man. He wanted to be seen as more than just a stereotype, aiming for recognition as a serious dramatic performer. In a subsequent installment of the movie series, the actor returned to reprise his role as Colonel George Taylor. However, his screen time was limited to approximately 18 minutes. Despite this, his presence in the film had a significant impact. This actor's journey within the movie franchise showcased his versatility and his ability to evolve beyond the confines of his previous roles. During a memorable moment at the 44th Annual Academy Awards in 1972, an unexpected hiccup occurred when a flat tire on the Santa Monica freeway delayed a presenter's arrival. Another familiar face stepped in, seamlessly continuing the speech until the presenter made a fashionably late entrance, much to everyone's amusement. In October 1997, a well-known magazine recognized the achievements of a prominent figure in the film industry, placing them at number 28 in a list of the greatest movie stars of all time. This acknowledgement highlighted their significant contribution to cinema. While filming The Omega Man, the lead actor documented in their diary a growing weariness with the heroic roles they often portray. This insight offers a glimpse into the actor's changing perspective on their career trajectory. These instances illustrate the unpredictability of live events, the enduring legacy of a notable figure in cinema, and the evolving sentiments they held towards their career. Delving into the world of film and social advocacy, one notable individual stood out for his strong stance against abortion and his diverse acting roles. In 1987, he introduced an anti-abortion documentary called Eclipse of Reason by Bernard Nathanson, expressing his unwavering opposition to abortion. His part as Brad Braden in The Greatest Show on Earth showcased his acting versatility near the Ringling Brothers in Barnum and Bailey's Circus headquarters. Additionally, in Touch of Evil, portraying Mike Vargas, he admitted avoiding a Hispanic accent, considering it a significant acting misstep. These instances offer glimpses into his professional journey and personal beliefs. The impact he left on Hollywood and societal discussions goes beyond the silver screen, illustrating a commitment to authenticity and vocal advocacy. This overview barely scratches the surface of his captivating story. In the world of movies, there's an actor who played memorable roles in films like The Big Country and Beneath the Planet of the Apes. He showed he could act in different kinds of movies. In The Big Country, he played a tough guy named Steve Leach alongside another famous actor, Gregory Peck. Later, he was convinced to play Colonel George Taylor again in Beneath the Planet of the Apes, even though he usually avoided making sequels. His co-star, Kim Hunter, had concerns about the makeup used in the first movie. He got noticed for his acting, getting nominated for Golden Globe Awards for movies like The Ten Commandments and Ben-Hur. Winning two special awards, one in 1962 and another in 1967, showed how much people appreciated him. His work in movies is still loved and remembered today, and it left a big impact on the movie industry. In the realm of Hollywood history, there are figures whose influence stretches far beyond the screen. One such individual played a significant role, not only in the world of acting, but also in advocating for the rights of fellow performers. Serving as the president of the Screen Actors Guild during the late 1960s and early 1970s, this person spearheaded initiatives aimed at improving conditions for actors. During his tenure, he worked tirelessly to address various challenges facing those in the industry. His dedication to ensuring fair treatment and recognition for actors left a lasting impact on Hollywood. Beyond his role in front of the camera, he became known for his commitment to advocating for positive change within the entertainment business. Despite encountering obstacles along the way, his passion for the craft and the well-being of his colleagues remained unwavering. His efforts helped shape the landscape of Hollywood, leaving a legacy that continues to be felt today. In reflecting on this individual's influential legacy, one is reminded of the resilience and advocacy that define Hollywood's evolution. It's a story written not just in the characters portrayed on screen, but also in the actions of those who work tirelessly behind the scenes to make a difference. And so, the narrative of Hollywood's progress is intertwined with the contributions of individuals like him, who dedicated themselves to improving the industry for generations to come. 
In the world of cinema, an actor showcased remarkable versatility and talent through various roles. Transitioning seamlessly from one character to another, this actor left a lasting impression on each role undertaken. The ability to immerse oneself in diverse roles set this individual apart, earning acclaim from both audiences and critics. Throughout an illustrious career, opportunities arose to collaborate with some of the industry's brightest stars, enriching the cinematic experience. Despite challenges such as scheduling conflicts, the actor remained dedicated to the craft, demonstrating a passion that surpassed any obstacle. Beyond the silver screen, life intersected with political activities, emphasizing the multifaceted nature of this persona. Balancing a film career with a commitment to political causes presented challenges, but these were navigated with grace, leaving an impact in Hollywood and societal change. In the twilight of the actor's career, roles continued to showcase talent and acquired wisdom. Each character became a chapter in a rich narrative within the film industry, a testament to a lifetime devoted to storytelling through acting. Reflecting on this journey, it is a tapestry woven with diverse characters, collaborative efforts, and a relentless pursuit of artistic excellence. The enduring influence serves as a beacon for aspiring actors, a reminder of the transformative power of storytelling on the silver screen. In the world of cinema, unexpected twists often shape the course of a production. Actors, directors, and even fate itself can influence the outcome of a film, leading to fascinating behind-the-scenes stories. One such tale involves an iconic actor who, due to unforeseen circumstances, had to step down from a role in a classic film. However, this setback paved the way for another actor to step in and deliver a memorable performance, showcasing the unpredictable nature of the industry. In addition to this, the dynamic interplay of characters in various movies, along with the director's skill, ensures that each film becomes a unique experience for audiences. This glimpse into the cinematic journey of these actors and directors offers just a glimpse into the rich tapestry of stories woven by the film industry, leaving a lasting impact on viewers. In a career spanning both stage and screen, this iconic actor showcased his talent in a variety of roles. He graced the stage alongside renowned actresses like Deborah Carr and Vanessa Redgrave, leaving a lasting impact with each performance. On the silver screen, he brought characters like Moses and Judah Ben-Hur to life in unforgettable ways. Even in radio adaptations, his presence was felt, reprising roles from his movies. His journey across different mediums reflects his adaptability and enduring influence on entertainment. Ever heard the story about a movie where the guy sitting next to the pilot in a plane photo was actually the dad of a former JetBlue flight attendant? It happened during a scene with a DC-10 taking off inside an office. Plus, the film won an Academy Award, and it holds a record for being super long. And get this, in another movie, an actor wore lifts to seem taller than their co-star. These little behind-the-scenes facts give us a peek into how filmmakers make things work. It shows the effort and creativity that go into making movies awesome. Crafted with care and cool ideas, these films still grab people's attention worldwide, proving how dedicated filmmakers are. All these details in the fascinating journey of bringing a beloved film to life, one stunt double found himself in quite a memorable situation. Committed to authenticity, he dashed through a patch of poison oak without clothes, showcasing his dedication to the craft. However, challenges extended beyond physical demands, including a peculiar identity issue. The use of his real name posed a potential problem due to its similarity to a famous character, prompting the adoption of a pseudonym to avoid any unwanted associations. Navigating Hollywood's complexities wasn't easy, especially when it took three and a half years to get the green light for the project. There were doubts about whether the novel's story could translate well onto the screen, but perseverance prevailed. Armed with vivid paintings depicting potential scenes, the lead actor embarked on a mission to persuade studios, facing ridicule along the way. Despite skepticism, the movie triumphed, cementing its place in cinematic history. Its journey, filled with challenges and uncertainties, adds depth to the story of a film that exceeded expectations. As the credits rolled, the movie's resilience and vision stood as a testament to those who dared to challenge norms. In an interesting twist, the actress Martha Scott often played the role of a mother to the main character in several movies alongside a familiar co-star. This meant they worked together on different films, which showed their good chemistry on screen. Their ability to act together in various roles showed how well they worked together. Their partnership was not just about acting skills, but also about their friendship off-screen, which made their performances special. Whether they were showing love or intense drama, audiences were always captivated by their acting. 
This shows how relationships between characters and actors can be important in movies. Martha Scott and her co-star continue to inspire filmmakers and viewers, reminding us of the importance of working together in storytelling. This partnership is a great example of how talent and teamwork can create magic in movies. In Airport 1975, he starred as Alan Murdoch alongside notable actors like George Kennedy, Karen Black, Linda Blair, Nancy Olson, Martha Scott, and Gloria Swanson, making it a star-studded cast. Then, in The Colbys, he portrayed Jason Colby. After the show ended, producers offered him a role in Dynasty, but he turned it down due to salary disagreements. Finally, in The Greatest Show on Earth, he played Brad Braden alongside a cast including Gloria Graham, James Stewart, Bing Crosby, Edmund O'Brien, and Cornel Wilde, making it another impressive ensemble. Throughout his career, he worked with acclaimed actors and turned down roles when the terms didn't meet his expectations. In The Ten Commandments, he played Moses alongside Dame Judith Anderson, marking a turning point in his career. Their on-screen connection was strong, grabbing the attention of audiences worldwide. This powerful pair's collaboration shine again in Elizabeth, the Queen in 1968, establishing them as Hollywood icons. Despite his clear success, one of his lasting regrets came from a missed chance. He often thought about what might have happened if he had taken the main role in Beckett. The idea stayed in his mind, a lingering what if in an otherwise impressive career. What made his career even more interesting was the age dynamics among the cast. It's worth noting that Nina Falk, who played his on-screen son, was actually a year younger than him. These casting details are usually overlooked, but they bring depth to the performances and the overall story. Looking back, Charlton Heston's career was a series of strong performances and missed opportunities, each adding to his place in the history of movies. In a storied career spanning decades, one actor's performances stood out for their depth and authenticity. From commanding roles as historical figures to rugged cowboys and futuristic astronauts, this actor captivated audiences with his versatility and dedication to his craft. His memorable portrayals left a lasting impression on Hollywood, inspiring countless performers to strive for excellence in their own careers. Whether it was restraining a co-star in a tense scene or choosing smaller roles for the sake of a production schedule, his commitment to his characters was unwavering. This narrative celebrates the enduring influence of his work, a testament to his status as a true legend of the silver screen. Renowned for his selective approach to film roles, the actor demonstrated a preference for quality over quantity. In a notable incident in 1968, he turned down a role in a movie due to the script's lack of depth in character development. Despite his fame for starring in grand historical narratives, his personal fondness leaned towards Western films. This insight into his career choices reveals a man who prioritized substance both on and off the screen. His refusal of roles based on script considerations and attendance at a colleague's funeral exemplify a discerning and grounded approach to his craft and industry relationships. Exploring the journey of a legendary actor, we find insights into the challenges and triumphs of his most memorable roles. In one notable performance, he portrayed Will Penny, a character many believed could have made the movie a box office hit if he had taken the girl with him at the end. Another role saw him battling the flu during filming, yet his hoarse voice added a unique touch to the character, despite his discomfort. In yet another film, he played alongside a fellow actor who would soon bring to life another iconic character. These glimpses into his career showcase the hurdles he faced and the impactful choices he made, leaving lasting impressions on audiences. Throughout his career, he starred in two movies that won the top award at the Oscars, The Greatest Show on Earth, and Ben-Hur. He also acted in a movie that was nominated for the same award, The Ten Commandments. One of his famous roles was as Will Penny in the film of the same name. The hat he wore in this movie and some other Western films was very important to him, but sadly, it was stolen later on. Additionally, he played Spencer Trilby in True Lies. Interestingly, he and Tia Carrer were both in Wayne's World too, even though they didn't share any scenes together. These diverse roles demonstrate his versatility as an actor, leaving a lasting impression on the film industry. In the past, there have been instances where a well-known actor advocated for recognition on behalf of a director. Alongside another actor, Charlton Heston supported the idea of giving an honorary Academy Award for Lifetime Achievement to honor a filmmaker. However, Heston's co-star, who typically shied away from public events, declined to present the award, leading to other actors stepping in for the presentation. In a different movie, Heston played a military character named Major Matt Lewis. 
Interestingly, both Heston and his co-star later appeared in television shows, each portraying a character named Colby. This demonstrates their versatility in different roles across different mediums. In another notable film, Heston took on the role of George Taylor. Initially, another actor was considered for a different role, but concerns about their popularity potentially overshadowing the movie led to Heston's casting. Additionally, there were specific decisions made about casting actors of a certain height for certain roles, further showcasing the thought put into the production. These instances shed light on Heston's involvement in advocating for recognition, his varied roles in film, and the considerations made in casting decisions. For three months, he worked hard to learn how to drive a chariot for the famous movie Ben-Hur. He really got into the role and put a lot of effort into it. In the big country, he played a tough and charismatic character named Steve Leach. He also starred in the movie Soylent Green with Chuck Connors, adding depth to the story with his strong presence. On December 4, 1993, he made history by hosting Saturday Night Live at the age of 70. His wit and charm impressed everyone, making him the oldest person to ever host the show. Among all the hosts of SNL, he ranks as the third oldest after Miskel Spillman and Ruth Gordon. His impact on the world of entertainment is unforgettable. Charlton Heston's performances continue to inspire generations and are remembered by people all over the world. In 1956, an iconic role as Moses in the Ten Commandments earned recognition for the actor. His performance ranked fourth best actor in the film Daily's national poll. The movie also received praise for its screenplay, securing the fifth spot, with the credited writers being Enius McKenzie, Jack Garris, Jesse Lasky Jr., and Frederick M. Frank. The cinematography by Loyal Griggs claimed the fifth spot as well. Despite the success, a missed opportunity came in 1962 when he was offered the role of Colonel Benjamin Vandervoort in The Longest Day. Unfortunately, John Wayne sealed the deal before he could accept the offer. Later on, a role in True Lies cast him as Spencer Trilby. An interesting tidbit is that both he and Bill Paxton shared the screen in Tombstone, although they didn't share any scenes together. This journey through his career highlights moments of recognition and opportunities that slipped away, showcasing the dynamic nature of his influence on the film industry. Delving into the realm of classic cinema, we encounter a distinguished actor who has left an unforgettable imprint on the silver screen. In one notable film, he portrayed a legendary character, adding his voice to a divine moment inspired by an ancient tale. Another film saw him exploring a world dominated by apes, collaborating once again with a familiar director. Interestingly, he shared roles with another well-known actor, showcasing their versatility across different movies. These connections reveal the actor's adaptability and range in his extensive career. Audiences were drawn into the immersive worlds created by the actor's performances, witnessing not only his compelling portrayals, but also the seamless chemistry he shared with various co-stars. His talent for breathing life into diverse characters demonstrated a mastery of his craft that resonated across generations. Whether he was embodying a historical figure or navigating a futuristic society ruled by apes, he left a lasting impression on cinema. Furthermore, his collaborations with a recurring director added depth to his filmography. Their creative partnership produced cinematic magic, captivating both audiences and critics. Together, they pushed the boundaries of storytelling, leaving a lasting impact on cinematic history. Interestingly, the actor also collaborated with another notable actor, sharing roles and showcasing their shared commitment to delivering captivating performances. Their dynamic interplay became a defining feature of certain cinematic gems, leaving a strong impression on audiences. In summary, the actor's journey through the realms of cinematic storytelling is a captivating odyssey filled with memorable characters and groundbreaking collaborations. His versatility, talent, and ability to engage audiences continue to resonate, creating a legacy that transcends time. In a fascinating series of career moves, a prominent actor demonstrated his ability to make pivotal decisions that shaped his trajectory. For instance, he turned down an offer to co-star with a famous actress in a well-known film, opting instead to pursue a stage opportunity directed by a highly respected figure in the industry. During one particular role, he introduced a memorable line that wasn't originally in the script or novel, showcasing his dedication to his craft and attention to detail. In another project, he clashed with producers over casting choices, advocating for different actors he believed would better suit the roles. These instances highlight the actor's assertiveness and influence in the projects he took on, from influencing dialogue to advocating for specific casting decisions. His career was marked by a series of decisive choices that shaped his legacy in the entertainment industry. 
In Soylent Green, he portrayed Detective Thornton. During the final scene with Edward G. Robinson, who passed away that same evening, Charlton Heston made an announcement to the cast the following day. Dick Van Patten, who met Robinson for the first time, mistakenly said, come with me, Mr. Robinson, instead of his line. In The Greatest Show on Earth, he played Brad Braden. Sassel B. DeMille, impressed by Heston's wave, cast him after a chance encounter on the Paramount Pictures lot. A fan's letter praising Heston's performance delighted him. He was once considered for the role of Claudius in I, Claudius, but the part went to Derek Jacoby instead. In the early 1990s, he tried to make the play Mr. Roberts popular again, but it didn't work out as he hoped. Jumped to October 2023, and even after he passed away, people remembered him for his work. Turner Classic Movies celebrated what would have been his 100th birthday by honoring him as the star of the month. It was a nice way to remember someone who made great movies. One of his famous roles was George Taylor in Planet of the Apes. In the movie, Taylor sent his last message on March 23, 2673, according to the ship's clock. This emotional scene happened three years after the lawgiver's speech in the fifth movie of the series. Whether he was acting on stage or in movies, he left a big impression. From trying to revive plays to being remembered after he passed away, Charlton Heston's work is still important in the entertainment world. Charlton Heston portrayed Cardinal Richelieu in The Four Musketeers' Milady's Revenge directed by Richard Flesher. In another film, Cross Swords, released in 1977, he acted alongside Oliver Reed and Raquel Welch. In Major Dundee, he played Major Amos Charles Dundee. Columbia Pictures once considered firing the director, Sam Peckinpah, but Heston intervened, threatening to withdraw from the project and return his fee. According to Gore Vidal, who contributed to the script of Ben-Hur, he added a subtext to the relationship between Messala and Ben-Hur, implying they were former lovers. Despite William Wyler's initial reluctance, the subtext was incorporated, albeit without direct references to their sexuality. When Vittle publicly mentioned this, Heston denied it, though he had acknowledged Vittle's substantial contribution to the final script in his autobiography. In the world of cinema, there are stories of unexpected roles and surprising endorsements. One such tale revolves around a renowned actor who, despite initial hesitations, left an indelible mark on the silver screen. In 1956, this actor was chosen for a significant role in a classic film. The director, initially uncertain, cast him due to his striking resemblance to a famous sculpture. Later, he took on another role, initially unsure of its significance, until persuaded by his agent, who emphasized the opportunity to work with esteemed colleagues. These anecdotes illustrate the actor's versatility and willingness to embrace challenges. His career journey showcases a range of experiences, from endorsing fellow actors to accepting diverse roles. Indeed, such tales offer a glimpse into the intriguing world of cinema. Back in 1969, some people from the Democratic Party suggested he should run for the California State Senate, but he politely turned down the offer and stuck to acting instead. That decision shaped his life and made a big impact on Hollywood. Something interesting happened to him during high school, he broke his nose playing football. Surprisingly, he saw it as a good thing because it gave him a unique look that helped his acting career. This unexpected twist showed how life can take you in surprising directions. In one of his movies, Touch of Evil, he played a character named Mike Vargas. Even though he didn't speak Spanish fluently, his acting skills were so good that people still loved his performance, despite the language barrier. Charlton Heston's life in showbiz was full of different experiences, from almost going into politics to his nose getting broken in high school. He faced challenges both on and off screen, but left a lasting impression on the movie world. In his role as Major Amos Charles Dundee in Major Dundee, he signed on to work with Sam Peckinpah, drawn to the opportunity after enjoying their collaboration on Ride the High Country. Years later, reflecting on his portrayal of Judah Ben-Hur in Ben-Hur, he speculated about potential directorial swaps between William Wyler and Anthony Mann. He suggested that while Wyler might have elevated El Cid to epic status, Mann couldn't match Wyler's attention to detail and visionary direction. Despite criticism, he maintained that his civil rights activism of the 1960s didn't contradict his support for gun ownership rights in the 1990s, believing both were about promoting freedom. In one man's lifetime, he faced many challenges and celebrated numerous victories. In 1996, he underwent a significant operation that improved his mobility and energy. Four years later, he bravely tackled alcoholism, showing his determination to overcome personal battles. His family meant the world to him, especially his three grandsons, who brought him immense happiness and created cherished memories. 
In the entertainment world, he made a lasting impact, captivating audiences with his talent. Even though he didn't get every role he wanted, his presence in Hollywood was profound. Looking back, his life was a story of resilience and passion. He faced life's ups and downs with grace, leaving behind a story that continues to inspire others. Amidst his triumphs in the movie industry, there were also moments that didn't quite meet his expectations. One such instance was his honest admission regarding his dissatisfaction with a particular film which he felt fell short of his standards. In the world of Hollywood casting, some roles have interesting stories behind them. For example, there was a character in a movie who was initially considered for a different actor. Eventually, the role went to someone else, who later said it was a big mistake to turn it down. In another movie, the director personally called an actor to offer them a role because they needed someone who could intimidate another famous actor. Additionally, there's a film that featured a famous actor addressing environmental issues alongside two other actors known for their support of a particular political party, including a former president. These instances shed light on how actors make career choices and the impact those choices can have. Elected president of the National Rifle Association of America in June 1998, he assumed a prominent role in advocating for gun rights during his tenure. Away from the political arena, Charlton Heston, known for his portrayal of Neville in The Omega Man, revealed in his biography that director Segal often lost his temper on set with the crew. Adding to his recognition, he appeared on a, us, a non-denominated forever commemorative postage stamp in the Legends of Hollywood series issued on April 11, 2014. Priced at 49 cents on the day of release, the stamp, part of a sheet of 20, featured decorative selvage with a picture of him from Ben-Hur. His involvement in the NRR presidency, his onset experiences, and the commemorative stamp all contribute to the diverse facets of Charlton Heston's legacy. With two movies making it to the American Film Institute's 100 Most Inspiring Movies of All Time list, he made a big impact on movies. One of his movies, The Ten Commandments, got the 79th spot, and another one, Ben-Hur, got even higher at 56. While they were filming The Ten Commandments, Charlton Heston, who played Moses, shared a funny story from the set. During the golden calf scene, extras got so tired after four days of shooting that they joked with the assistant director, asking how they could leave the movie. The scene was so intense that they even joked about having honey-filled navels and grape juice soaked hair. When it came to the success of Will Penny, it had a tough time at the box office. Some people think it didn't do well because it came out around the same time as Planet of the Apes, another movie starring Charlton Heston. But despite this setback, Heston kept making great movies. In a classic movie, he played a character named Rodrigo de Vivar. He mentioned feeling like he got much older during the filming, especially next to Sophia Loren, who he said looked really timeless. He and his wife have been living in their big house for over 40 years now, and it's filled with stuff from his acting career. The house, designed in a fancy style by his dad after winning an award, has some really cool things in it, like a statue from ancient Rome, and fancy door knockers from a famous movie called Ben-Hur. His son even had a tiny role as Baby Moses in a different movie, The Ten Commandments, when he was just a baby himself. It's neat to see how his family has been a part of the movie world for so long. In his impressive depiction of Moses and the Ten Commandments, he skillfully showed a deep understanding of ancient Egypt, a time that came before his expertise in history. Even though the character belonged to a distant time, he completely immersed himself in the role, showing a detailed understanding that fascinated the audience. His ability to go beyond time boundaries not only showcased his acting skills, but also his dedication to delivering genuine performances. When it comes to his role in Wilpenny, he praised the script for being brilliantly written, calling it an outstanding Western film. His admiration for the excellent story demonstrated his good taste in choosing projects, solidifying his reputation as an adaptable actor. The film, enhanced by his nuanced performance, had a lasting impact on the Western genre. Outside of the movie world, a legal dispute arose between the actor and his neighbors due to property damage from a slope failure. His lawyer stepped in, strongly clarifying his ownership in the matter. This unexpected conflict shed light on the actor's private life, revealing the complexities that sometimes come with fame and fortune. In summary, Charlton Heston's diverse career not only highlighted his acting skills, but also uncovered interesting aspects of his personal life. Whether exploring ancient history as Moses or navigating the rugged landscapes of a western in Wilpenny, he left a lasting impression on the movie scene, going beyond time and genre with each role. Selected for the lead role in Ben-Hur after Burt Lancaster turned it down, he suddenly became famous. This role defined much of his career. 
In Planet of the Apes, he played George Taylor and dealt with the flu during filming, making him tired after the action scenes. His wife calls him Charlie, but everyone else knows him as Chuck. Even though he was sick, he gave a great performance that people around the world loved, making him a Hollywood legend. On screen, he had a strong presence, always grabbing the audience's attention in every role. Whether in historical dramas or sci-fi adventures, he took on each project with dedication and skill, leaving a lasting impression on cinema. From playing a prince in a chariot race to a stranded astronaut, he brought a unique charm and intensity to every character. His career as an actor continues to inspire new generations. His impact on the film world is unmatched and his story lives on as a testament to his talent and love for acting. In embodying the lead character of a famous biblical figure, the actor demonstrated his meticulous approach by revealing that he had nine different beards for the film. Beyond his acting career, he made his views known on political matters, supporting the Gulf War in the early 1990s and opposing a nuclear freeze. It's interesting to note that both the lead actor and his co-star, who played a significant role in the movie, lived until the age of 84, passing away in the same year. These shared milestones shed light on their lives both on and off the screen. Recipient of Kennedy Center Honors in 1997, he shared the spotlight with notable figures like Lauren Buckhall, Bob Dylan, Jesse Norman, and Edward Villela. In True Lies, he portrayed Spencer Trilby, a character not originally scripted to wear an eye patch. However, upon arriving with Pink Eye on the first day of filming, the costume department swiftly accommodated and Trilby became his favorite hat. Similarly, in The Greatest Show on Earth, he portrayed Brad Braden, where the meticulous Sassel B. DeMille spent an hour selecting the right hat for him, emphasizing its significance over footwear. His attention to detail and insistence on personal touches left lasting impressions on his roles. Amidst the filming of an iconic scene, the actor portraying John the Baptist reflected in his diaries on the bitter cold of Pyramid Lake, remarking that if the Jordan River had been as icy, it might have changed the course of history. This sheds light on the tough conditions faced during production. When offered a role alongside another seasoned actor, a witty response was elicited, injecting humor into the casting dynamics of the TV series. Despite facing physical challenges, the actor received the Presidential Medal of Freedom, the nation's highest civilian honor, in recognition of his significant impact beyond acting. These anecdotes offer glimpses into the actor's experiences, from the challenges of filming to humorous casting decisions and acknowledgement of his societal impact. Exploring the roles played by a seasoned actor in various films unveils intriguing facets of their career. In the war epic Midway, he portrayed Captain Matt Garth alongside other veterans like Henry Fonda and Glenn Ford. The camaraderie on set was palpable as the cast shared first-hand military experiences. Moving on to El Cid, the actor expressed dissatisfaction with the final product in his autobiography. He believed the film might have benefited from a different director, proposing that iconic movies like Ben-Hur could have had different outcomes under altered leadership. These insights into the filmmaking process shed light on the actor's perspectives. In The Omega Man, the actor took on the role of Neville, inspired by a novel he read during a flight. Surprisingly, he was unaware of a previous adaptation, The Last Man on Earth, starring Vincent Price. This revelation added an unexpected layer to his involvement in the project. These instances offer glimpses into the actor's diverse roles and thoughts on filmmaking, providing a unique perspective on his career. Amidst the filming of a certain western, the lead actor found himself in an unexpected situation. Dealing with the director's unusual behavior wasn't easy, but he managed. There was a moment when things got so tense that he had to confront the director with a saber, a rare occurrence for him on set. In his published journals, he shared some interesting stories from his career. One involved a renowned director offering him a role as a famous artist, which he didn't take. Another time, he spoke passionately in an interview about wanting to redo one of his favorite epic movies. His journey in the film industry is more than just acting. It's about facing challenges, celebrating successes, and a deep love for the craft. From confronting directors to dreaming of new projects, his story in Hollywood is filled with diverse experiences and unforgettable moments. Amidst shifting political affiliations and notable roles in cinema, one figure stands out for his dynamic journey. From his early days as a Democrat to later embracing conservative Republican views, his career left an indelible mark on the entertainment industry. His portrayal of Moses in a well-known film featuring a star-studded cast earned attention, with several award winners and nominees among its ensemble. 
Additionally, his involvement in two iterations of a popular franchise highlights his lasting impact on the big screen. This individual story traverses politics and entertainment, showcasing a remarkable trajectory that continues to captivate audiences.